Shalom de la Bessie. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This particular prophetic word says, they have been a change of plans. I say it again. There is now a change of plans. Um, this prophetic word is an inspired prophetic word from somebody else, but it resonated with my spirit so strong because I know what is going on right now with somebody that God is revealing about you right now. And this prophetic word concerns you. It has everything to do with you from Genesis to Revelations. <laughs> it has everything to do with you right now. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangwa, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. I wanted to say your name. Come on. What's going on? Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please do not forget to subscribe and kindly turn on your notification bell. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord. I would love to be your prayer partner. I would love to be your friend. Always make it a habit once you get in. If this is your first time, subscribe. And if it's not your first time, make it a habit to share the video and also to like the video. And if you have a prayer request, you want to pray with somebody, you have a prayer point, you want me to pray with you or for you, kindly get to my about and kindly send me that particular prayer request just so we can pray together. Together. One who chases a thousand, two will chase ten thousands. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, um, life is a very vast um, place to be. Like, life is a very vast place to be. I'm talking about life is a very vast place to be because there is dead and there is life. When you're alive, you're belonging to a particular place. And when you're dead, you still belong to a particular place. So life is a very vast place to be and to belong to. And so many people have a lot that is happening to them right now. So many people have a lot that they're going on right now. And each and every one of these people who are going through what they are going through. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. I'm only human. Each of these people who are going through what they are going through is as a result of decisions. I say it again. Each of these people who are going through what they are going through right now is as a result of decisions. There are people who make better decisions. There are people who make good decisions. There are people who are best at what they are doing. So no matter what happens and no matter what is going on, you must never blame people. People make things based on decisions. People say things sometimes based on decisions. There is somebody whose plans have changed about you. And I want to explain this because it's going to be a very huge confirmation to you. Now, you have been sensing something, but you have never got to the understanding point of what is about to happen. <clears throat> excuse me, please, or what is going on. So you've only been sensing something like, okay, this is about to happen, this is going on, and all that, but you've not um, seen it happen because circumstances around you are not even showing that it's about to happen. Now, I see somebody who loves you. This particular person loves you, and this particular person cares for you and cares about you, but they have other priorities. Now, I've seen people who say that they love this particular person, but this is what they want to do first. Probably they want to follow up this. Probably they want to follow up their careers. Maybe they want to do something, and a whole lot, and a whole lot of people like that. So you're going to see somebody who says, I love this particular person, but I want to do this particular thing first. Now, only... Some of those people are lucky to still have these people. Like you can be lucky enough to say, okay, somebody waits for you to finish with what you're doing and all that. Some people are not lucky enough for people to wait on them. And that is why you must not take chances. Sometimes if you love somebody, why not go ahead? Greed has made a lot of people to lose who they love. And right now, some people are in regrets. You loved this particular person. You were so in love with this particular person. And it was so good and it was so nice until maybe you started having better opportunities. And you started feeling like, oh, let me not get married to this particular person now. Let me wait. Perhaps they could be a better person for me. Are you kidding me? A lot of people have lost good people. 
because of such decisions. A lot of people have lost good people because of such decisions. If you love somebody, I've learned over time and I've seen it from the lives of so many people that keep them, go for them. You see, the grass on the other side is always greener. The person you're looking at like this particular person can be a better person. Honey, sometimes it's deception. So you're looking at another lady, you're looking at another man and saying, oh, this man has a nice character, probably because you've not been close to the man or the lady. Mm, hello. You've not been close to the person yet. So they're playing all nice with you and you're feeling like everything is fine. Excuse me, please. The camera is checked to the camera. You're feeling like everything is fine. You're feeling like everything is okay. And you don't even know what is happening. Once you get closer to them, probably you're going to notice that the other person was better. The other person was amazing. Only a few people have the opportunity and have the favor of meeting back that particular person. There are people, if you lost them, you've lost them. And that is why you must be very careful when the Lord begins to bring good people your way. You must be very careful. Somebody loved you so much. And the person decided that they wanted to do some things first before coming to marry you. And right now, some things are beginning to change. They are beginning to love you more. And they are beginning to change their minds about you. They are changing their minds that they want to marry you first. They don't want to lose you. And you're going to be so surprised. But this is a confirmation because you've been having dreams about marriage lately. And you don't seem to understand. You've been having dreams about God bringing you together with your partner. But you don't seem to understand. Now, this is that confirmation you've been waiting for. They want to come and make things right. They have changed their mind to pursue their career, to go through what they wanted to go through. And they want to come to you right now to make things right, to fix things. I pray in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus that an enemy will not attack this particular good plan. In the name of Jesus, amen. This is a very good prophetic word. And make sure you're connecting yourself. Single and tango. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> make, sure. make sure you're connecting yourself. Hallelujah. Please, if these have been of great blessings to you, I'll beg on you that you please intercede for me and pray for me. Always pray for me, please. I beg you. One of the things I value most in this life and in this world is prayer. Please don't forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you to pray for me. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Amen. Please also do not forget to subscribe and to turn on your notification bell. And also do not forget to share. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.